Hi there, this is Tim from Twice Circled and welcome to episode 7 of the official Big Pharma video blog. Now, today we're going to have a bit of fun. I'm actually going to set myself a challenge to achieve something in the game uh, in today's vlog. Um, hopefully I make it. If it's taking me too long, I might split it over two vlogs. If it's taking, like, ever so long, then maybe I'll just give up. We'll see. Uh, I'll get into that in a moment. I'll just get, first go over a couple of other things I want to talk about today. So uh, I want to talk about the latest things I've added to the game, and that's the research tab and the research system in general. I did a blog piece about this recently, so if you uh, want a really detailed uh, overview of, of, of the design that's gone into the research tab, then you can check out the, the blog at twicecircle.com. And the other thing I've added, which I haven't talked about yet, is the messaging system. And uh, this is basically a system that kind of ties together all the rest of the tabs and keeps the player in the loop with what's going on around their company. So I'll kind of talk about those once we get... Uh, going, but for now I'm going to actually uh, talk you through the challenge I'm going to set myself and uh, we're, we're going to get on with it. So one of the last little things I've added uh, is I've added this little loan um, mechanic so that you start off with $20,000 uh, but that's actually in the form of a loan and it's being charged at an interest rate uh, of 15% per year. So you actually have a little bit of danger there. Um, I've actually got to try and, the challenge I'm setting myself is I'm going to try and pay off the loan within this video blog. Uh, hopefully it won't be too hard. All I have to do is just make a bit more money than I started with. Uh, but obviously I've got to invest in machines and conveyor belts and that sort of stuff to do that. So it might be a little trickier um, than I think. Uh, I'm kind of going to have to get started because I'm already losing money. <laughs> um, okay. So let's get started by jumping to the ingredients tab. What have we got access to? I'm going to have to go a little bit faster than normal because I want to lose money. Okay, straight away, I'm liking the look of this painkiller. Um, that's quite easy to produce. Oh, actually, hmm, cough medicine's going to actually save me a bit, make me a bit more money. Um, go on, let's do the cough medicine, actually. We're going to try and get this cough... Sorry, I was kind of flicking around uh, between those tooltips quite quickly. You probably couldn't see what I was looking at. But what I'm seeing here is the cough medicine... Um, this effect will be active uh, if I can get it to 70% concentration, uh, and the other side effect isn't going to be active unless I go all the way down to 60, so that's that's a bit of a win. Um, so let's import that. Uh, where should we import it? One of the little changes I've made, actually, is I've added a few more sockets to the game. I felt like there weren't quite enough, so there's now free on uh, your starting one. I think that's there's nearly always free. Um, I just felt a little bit too restricted before. Um, so we're going to change this... We're going to use two dissolvers to knock the concentration down by, by 10%. And then we're going to run it into this socket here and start selling. Uh, sorry, run it into a pill maker um, and then into the socket and then start selling it. Where's the best place for this? I think it's there. Now, one of the things you'll notice I normally do is I normally use a T-junction and split it across um, two pill makers uh, to maximize like my kind of... Uh, use of the sockets but something I'm going to try today is not doing that straight away and um, and looking at if I can actually take that drug and maybe run half of it through this really simple little system I've had half of it upgrading it to something better um, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking well we get it down to 70% just by um, just by just well, here, here it's down to 70%. If we get that down another 10%, if you look at the bottom, we can upgrade that to... Oh, <laughs> well, I'll finish what I'm saying. We can upgrade that to Eases Asthma. So I think that's the next thing I'm going to look at, and I'm probably going to look at research in the agglomerator. Uh, but before I do that, you might have noticed something flying here at the top and this little pop-up jump up. So this is part of the messaging system. So I'll talk you through that briefly. Um, you can click on this or you can click on here. Here's just a little reminder of like what you're actually talking about. But you can just click up here at the message. Uh, and whenever you make a new product, you now have to give it a name. And this is going to tie into what I'm going to add next to the game, which is the company tab you can see down here. Uh, and that's uh, where you're going to be able to see all your products and see how they're performing. So the, the name that you give it here will be the same name that you can see it in the company tab. Um, OK, so let, what should we call this? I'm just going to be really boring and call this cough medicine. Um, I'll make up some funny names later, I promise. So now that's named, it will let you start selling that. And here you'll see that it's now cough medicine. And it's very clever. It's all got this internal um, ID system. So that basically, 
anything that you make that is exi exactly like this. It's got a, an inactive causes headaches, it's got an active soothes cough, and it's at 70% concentration. That will be called cough medicine. And it's also similar to how the patent mechanic is going to work later in the game. It's going to work between you and AI factories. And if you've got a patent, for example, this cough medicine or this exact formula for cough medicine, then another AI won't be able to uh, produce that and vice versa. Or won't be able to sell it. You'll be able to produce it but not sell it. Okay, so we were going to try and upgrade this to an Aesis Asthma, but we need to get the agglomerator. So I think it's about time that I introduce to you the other system that has been added since the last vlog. And that's the research tab. The long-awaited research tab, I should say. Um, so, this is the research grid. The way it works is you start with these three technologies. And you can research anything that's adjacent to a technology that you already have unlocked. Uh, and you can see it's a really quite a, quite a long research tree. But right now it's quite open. We can kind of go up here. You can look at these two. You'll have to excuse the uh, the placeholder artwork here. I haven't gotten the artwork for most of the technologies yet. But for example, we've got mass production tool in here. Um, by investing in tooling for mass production, we can reduce the construction costs of our most pro common processes. Processes. So um, we can decrease the purchase price of our evaporators and dissolvers. Here you can see we can decrease the process cost of our evaporators and dissolvers. Um, and in the other direction, we can start looking at unlocking new machines. So we want to get the agglomerator. I'm going to invest in four researchers and assign them all to the agglomerator because I want to get this thing quick. Uh, one thing I should mention is we've actu I've actually got the research speed cranked up to 150% for this game because I wanted to make sure that stuff happened relatively quickly. So in the in a real game this is going to take a little bit longer um, and probably also you're not going to be as bold as to invest four researchers directly uh, off the bat because um well i hope this works out it's quite a large investment i'm now making in those salaries we might have to uh, build quite produce quite a lot of eases asthma medicine to pay for those pay for those back but we'll have this in about 11 days. Now in the meantime let's go back to here let's make some more plans. So i'm thinking what we can do is this socket has the capacity to import one per turn, but currently it's being backed up by this pill maker. So if we split it here using a T-junction, then we can split it off, run it through two more dissolvers to get it down to... No, I've got that wrong. Let's split it here. Then we can run it through two more dissolvers to get it down to 60% concentration. Then run it through an agglomerator to jump it up 20. Oh, our research is done. Um, but before I look at that, I want to just jump to the Cures tab, and I want to find out... Uh, at what concentration eases asthma is active. So, using my maths, I can see that um, once we run it through the agglomerator, our cure is going to be at a concentration of 80. Then we're going to have to get it all the way down to 50. Now, to do that, I think really we want to get the ionizer. Otherwise, we're having to run it through six dissolvers in a row, which is going to take up loads of space in our factory. So, let's jump back to the research tab. But I'm actually going to show you a new way of doing that now. So, when you when some research is complete, it comes in at the top in a message, and then you can either just dismiss it or you can just um, click go to research, and then it will take you there. Um, we jump to the research tab. Our researchers all jump back in their little box. <laughs> not literally and uh, I'm actually going to now reassign those to the ionizer because I'm going to need that in a second but while that's researching we can jump back to our factory and get going with what I was just talking about so we're going to want to jump run that through two more dissolvers first Let's get this a bit more space then we're going to run it through an agglomerator I'm maximizing. I don't want to kind of disturb this yet until I'm ready. In fact, we are ready now. If I just delete that one section, put in the T-junction, that should all just work smoothly. And then once, by the time we get to here, we should have upgraded. And then we're going to be looking at using our ionizers to get that concentration back down to an active level. Now, I've probably been a bit silly because, yeah, unfortunately, we might run the risk of running into the active concentration for the headache side effect. Not ideal, but hopefully the value of the Eases Asthma medicine is going to outweigh that. Oh, I should have, should, have, should have checked this too. Currently, we've got a really bad demand for Eases Asthma, so um, not ideal. But actually, looking at it, it's still one of the most expensive things we've got access to at the moment. Out of these four, it's definitely the most high value. Okay, our ionizer's been unlocked. Let's jump through. Boom. Now we've got quite a lot of dissolvers, so I'm thinking it might be a good idea to decrease our process costs. So I'm going to get a couple of researchers there. 
Uh, what else? Sugar-coated capsules. This increases the value of our pills. We could look at decreasing the purchase price of our agglomerators and ionizers. It might be worth getting. Or we could look at getting the multi-mixer. It's quite a long one, actually. Let's get one guy on the multi-mixer just to get that going. And then, actually, I'm going to go for the sugar-coated pills because I really want to get some some money in because I'm, I'm worried about our kind of losses here. We need to get this... We just kind of want to get some more money per pill we're creating, get our margins up a little bit. So now we need to get this down to, um, we've got, we've upgraded it to Eases Asthma. We've got to get it down to 60% before the, no, I've got this wrong, haven't I? Sorry, this is where I want to be. Now it's upgraded to Eases Asthma. We need to get this down to 50% uh, before we can, um, it's active. And to do that, we're going to run it through two ionizers. I love ionizers, they're really easy to to fit in. Um, and then we possibly want to run it through a pill maker. And then run it out of our factory. Now oops. I've been a little bit inefficient here because ideally I would have run it through this same socket here to maximize the um the output capacity we have there so really it'd be nice if this was all kind of shifted up one here and then I could have run a conveyor belt around the back here so I've been a little bit uh, silly there let's have a little look yeah uh, I, I, if I got this all the way down to 15% concentration then I would be able to knock off this well deactivate this headache pill this headache side effect but unfortunately I don't think that's really worth it because of the processing costs associated with it currently that headache is only knocking off 10 off the value so I think we'll leave it Okay, so we've got another product here. Let's make up a funny one this time. So this is asthma medicine. A little pill that eases your asthma. Um, something about being tight-chested. Um, let's call it loose chester. <laughs> because it makes your, your chest loosener. Yeah, let's call it chest loosener. Is that how you spell loosen? Hmm, spelling... <sighs> sp uh, you know, the spelling police are going to get on my back if I'm not careful. That's probably okay. Okay, now we're selling our chest loosener. It's getting us a nice profit, 47. It's a little bit better than our last one. But you can see how that now that we're hitting that headache side effect, it's definitely hitting our margins. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. And, and obviously we've had to run it through that many more processes. Um, now, it's interesting. It all moves. Hmm... Not the most cleverly designed factory layout, I've got to be honest. Okay, let's, that's great. That's now, we've um, we've got slightly reduced processing costs now. See, these are all now costing us two, and they used to cost us three. That's good. That's going to be increasing, well, it's going to be decreasing our processing costs here. Uh, and we're, we're finally making, oh, I was going to say we're making profit, but actually uh, we're only making profit every other turn. Oh, dear. Okay, I think we needed to make some more medicine. <laughs> I also need to get my, uh, my 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 researchers back on back back working because they're currently uh, having a bit of a rest. Okay. Hmm. Now I think, in all honesty, this is a bit of a silly little thing I'm doing here. I'm if you if you click here and you check here, this is the efficiency of my machines. They're nearly all working at 50% efficiency because uh, of the way I'm splitting this line. I, so I think it's probably. Yeah, I think it's probably time just to focus on this asthma medicine. Um, let's see. Mm -mm. We split it off there. Ah, oh, some more research done. Awesome. We've finished our multi-mix. I told you research was going to be a little bit quicker than normal. Um, testers, Desert Expeditions. Now, some of these things aren't in yet. Testers aren't currently in the game, and neither are Desert Expeditions. This is um, how you unlock new locations. So normally um like these first two would be in the forest but then these next three will be in the desert so before you can even try and explore those you'd have to unlock some research first uh which kind of like gives you a bit more of a decision to make at the beginning um i think it's probably time to get these high grade alloys just make our things a little bit cheaper i'm going to get the cream maker too because i'm interested in getting this condenser but um yeah i'm really doing badly on the money front i think this is quite <laughs> i made some bad choices um, do I just build a new production line or do I kind of look at refactoring this and making it a bit more efficient well I think actually 
the problem isn't really the efficiency. I mean, the efficiency is not great, but that's not going to change our profit levels. We've just spent a lot of money, basically, on, on not a huge amount. So I think actually what we want to do is just keep building stuff. I'm thinking, what can we do about this painkiller? Um, now, we've already got an agglomerator, so we could upgrade that. Let's jump to the cures tab. Oh, one of the other things I've changed since last time, you now only see the cures that you currently have available to you. So more of these will jump on as we unlock more ingredients on the ingredient tab. Ah, should we go for this? I think it's probably a good shout going for this one. Um, I think, oh, I see, we're on the wrong side of it. If currently at 65%, we get that down to 50, we can agglomerate it, but then it is going to jump back up to 70%, and then we're going to have to get it down to 55. It's not too bad. It's, it's funny, you see, the asthma actually makes more money, so I'm just wondering, should I just, like, make a... A, a much more efficient asthma production line. I think that's probably the, the right shout. Okay, so let's import... Uh, which one was it? This one. And this time, instead of using loads of dissolvers, we're going to just use agglomerators to get down to the right percentage. We're just going to use a single agglomerator. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. Not agglomerator. Ionizer. So we're going to run this crystal for an ionizer. Then we're going to have to run it for an agglomerator. I mean, I could check, but I, I know this one off by heart now. And then, what did we have to do? We had to run it for, that's to upgrade it. And then we had to run it through two ionizers um, to get it back down. I'm wondering, can we avoid that? Let's just see, how much does the ionizer cost? No, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, no, we'll just run it through two ionizers. Um, that's not gonna work. We could do it like that. pretty good um, and this time I think I am going to split it over to pill makers because uh, I think I kind of messed up at the beginning there it's funny there's been other circumstances when I've not split it and it's worked really really well because I've had say an autoclave or a cool a cryogenic condenser which takes two ticks two processing ticks compared to one and when you're going to run it through one of those it's actually really nice if you split it at the beginning because then you're kind of maximizing um, the usage of your of your drugs, but I, I should have kind of sp spotted that actually I was just going to be using an uh, agglomerators and ionizers for the whole thing, and in that case it's not worth it. So you see here that it's it's no it's noticed that it's what we're making here is exactly the same as what we made earlier, so it's it's still called chest loosener. Uh, now that's nice. That's junk. That's that's pumping out you know some good money now. We're getting fi oh in fact yeah, Easy's asthma seems to have got more valuable. Yeah, it's, the demand's gone up a little bit. Oh no, you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Our sugar-coated capsule's finished, and that's that's increased the uh, the value of our pills, which is pretty nice. All right, let's. I think it's time that we started to look at getting more ingredients because uh, from here we actually need to get kind of past these this level of um, cure. We need to get either a level one catalyst or a level two catalyst. So let's um, send some explorers out into um let's, i'll get two explorers oh my god i've actually run out of money that's really really bad um let me get a bit more of a loan um that's more money i'm gonna have to pay off later <laughs> uh it really shouldn't have let me buy those explorers i need to make it so it doesn't um and once we've discovered this we'll, whichever catalyst it is or we we'll hope we get a catalyst we will then use that to make something more fancy okay we've got some more research done high-grade alloys and we've got uh, the creamer cool so now I think if we go back to cures we're going to need the autoclave or the dissolver I think let's get the autoclave then we just we've got that one ready for what if we need it um, we might also the shaker might be useful in for the multi mixer um, Patents don't do anything yet, so I'm just going to skip that and get the autoclave here. And then we'll look at getting the shaker, because when we try to get the catalyst together, that might be useful. All right. that's a, this. I'm much happier with this little production line. I'm very tempted to completely get rid of this and make it very similar to this one. Uh, but then with the problem is we might end up hammering the asthma price. Hmm. Interesting. What's more efficient? Three of these two of these yeah that is going to be cheaper okay you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that old thing oops 
I want to free up this socket because it's going to start getting expensive to. Um, whoops. It's going to start getting expensive to expand. Uh, it's cost two thousand now to get this one. And now this way, uh, if I cut that off, cut that off, put that there. We're just making our original first drug, but we're now making it twice as quick. And to be honest, I probably. I shouldn't have actually deleted all that because this will still process. I should just let. I just wasted a load of stock there. Actually, I had a load of working progress ingredients on those conveyor belts. Shouldn't have deleted them. I should just wait for them to kind of work their way through the remaining production line, uh, sell the chest looseners, and then then get on with it. Okay. What else are we gonna? What are we gonna do next? Um, is it worth just for the purposes of diversification? Is it worth making some painkillers? Possibly some migraine tablets? Mm, I think it probably is. Yeah, because... Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's make two lots of migraine tablets. Um, let's buy this. And let's import... In fact, no. Let's use this one to import, because this is just about done. Okay. Let's import this one and then we're going to completely skip painkillers we're going to go jump straight up to ease migraine so we want to get it down to 50 so if we use one ionizer that'll do that and what i'm going to try and do is use up this wasted space in this corner before coming out here because i think probably what we're going to end up doing is is adding in an extra ingredient and then you using a multi-mixer and then and then push it out um so i'm trying to kind of plan ahead a little bit oh we've discovered a new ingredient let me finish this production line first um now that's interesting. You see, this is actually a this is actually completely the same. It's going one ionizer, then an agglomerator, and that upgrades it. So we could possibly kind of have reused uh, a couple of machines here um, if if this wasn't already been kind of max max capacity. Um, that's just kind of something worth noticing uh, earlier when we weren't quite using the, our sockets to the full capacity. We might have been able to do something there. Anyway. And then I think we're just going to have to use a few dissolvers to get it down. Uh, that will go up to that. Let's watch this happen. Painkiller comes off. Jumps, change to eases migraine. And then we need to get it down just 20. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Look at this. This constipation side effect is um, active at 55, which is the same concentration that we're aiming for for our migraine. The difference is by using an evaporator, we can actually remove it at the current concentration. So what I'm thinking is let's use a single evaporator to remove this and then use an ionizer to jump down 20% to get within the active zone. And I think this is actually going to be a this is going to be better than our asthma medicine if I um, if I've kind of worked out the maths correctly. Okay, and then what I want to do So I've left this stretch here because I want to give myself some flexibility later. What I'm going to try to do is tap off from here because we can get to this point one per turn, right? These are all one process machines. But what I noticed earlier is that, um, oh, whoops, I kind of just skipped that out. Uh, we just, uh, you, know, you notice that message hanging around in the corner. We've just discovered a, a new ingredient. So uh, interesting, we've got the... Level, uh, a circle, blue circle catalyst, and actually, I kind of wanted the the triangle one because I'm planning to um, catalyze this one and make some anti seizure medicine. Uh, so what I'm I'm going to keep going and hope I get a level two. Um, we've got some more research. Cool. We've got whoa, lots going on. Autoclave. Cool. We get those two back. I'm going to get the shaker because I have a feeling I might need it. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a new product. This is our migraine cure. So we call this... Um, hmm... What's a good name for a migraine cure? Um, less you ache in the head. Oh, I've put a sensible character limit on. Hmm, how boring. Okay, cool. Less you ache. <laughs> That's that's a okay. Is it better? Uh, let's have a little look. I'm curious. Plus 52, plus 54. It's ever so slightly better. You know those two extra that it makes per turn. You know in the long run, you know th those margins they can add up to be quite a lot. 
Oh, uh, oops. Oh, did I just delete something? I hope not. Okay. Um, so, we still ha we have a massive loan, because I had to take out a bigger loan, because I ran out of money. We are making some money now, which is nice. But I, we need to get to, like, some super cure, which is really going to make us some money. Uh, we're still waiting for our explorers to finish. So we can't actually make this one yet. We could make this one, though. We need to be 80 to 100%. We're kind of nowhere near that with our asthma stuff. Um, we're at 40%, because we actually ionize it at this point. And there. See, this is the funny thing. You see, at this point, what would be really cool is to tap this off and then take it up to... In fact, look at this. All you need to do is add a catalyst to this here, and then you can just run it through a dissolver, and it would actually upgrade to treat to bronchitis. The problem is I've kind of really messed up my layouts, and, um, yeah, there's just no kind of no space to do that anymore, so I'd have to kind of start a new thing. Oh, I'm torn because I've kind of made this. I was tr kind of hoping to add an extra catalyst to this and upgrade it to get our seizure medicine, but now I'm kind of... We got the wrong catalyst. Um, we're having to wait around 62%. Um, oh, we got, we did, oh, but we, did, sorry, we have actually got a new drug, though. So what, what can we do with this? Release hypertension. Okay. What's that worth? Interesting. Well, we've got the ionizer. We could just drop that down by 5% with a dissolver, upgrade it to treat angina. That's got a nice bit of demand. That's worth doing. And look, we don't even need a catalyst to upgrade that again. We could get all the way up to reduce his stroke risk. Okay, new plan. We've got a bit of money. Okay, I'm going to leave this space here because I still have this plan to make a... Um, to, up, to, to use a catalyst there to get the anti-seizure medicine. Unlock the shaker, that's very good. What can we look at? Brushless motors, that's probably worth getting. Makes our agglomerators and ionizers a little bit more... Uh, a little bit cheaper you notice I'm not getting much over on the right here because a lot of this stuff isn't in yet we've got things like uh, decreases minimum required trial patients uh, standardized trials which increases the accuracy of your trials but the trial trials aren't even in there yet um, and I don't really want this expedition management because I um, I'm not even hitting the current kind of cap on explorers so I'm just kind of powering down through the machines at the moment uh, let's just whack all of these on here I probably got a few too many researchers because I'm, I'm not actually producing drugs quick enough to use the machines I'm unlocking. Oh, a new ingredient discovered. <laughs> so while I was doing all that chat, I've discovered a new ingredient. <laughs> That's popping out. Uh, very cool. So now we do have this cat list. So <laughs> okay, now I can actually do that plan that I was, gonna, I was talking about earlier. Um, okay, let's do that and then we'll leave the hypertension uh, angina medicine uh, for later. So what we're aiming to do is we want to get this catalyst into uh, into into this drug. So we can add that. Unfortunately, we will be adding um, this side effect, but I think probably the anti-seizure medicine that we're going to make is going to be kind of valuable enough that we get away with that. Um, what's quite nice, we don't need the shaker after all. We don't need to rotate it. We can just add that straight in. Uh, we've already removed this constipation, so um, it will just have the dry mouth. Okay, let's do it. So what I'm thinking is here, we import this one. We're only going to need one of these. And what we'll get, I'll probably end up using this drug in something else later. Uh, but we'll do something like that. Split it here. So we mix those two together. Um, so half our drug is just going to be sold. Um, I'm actually thinking, hey, we probably can reuse this as a secondary. We can probably use the unused capacity of this socket as well later. So I think actually I'm doing a little bit better now in the terms of laying out the factory. Okay, so we've mixed this together. Um, what we end up with is um, we have this catalyst present. So we, there's a little tick next to that. Now all we need to do is get the concentration to, to between 70 and 90%, and then we can use an autoclave to upgrade it. So let's use an agglomerator to jump it up another um, I'm gonna save a little bit of space by doing that and then we're gonna run it through an autoclave like this and then we can have a little look what's our anti-seizure gonna be active at 
So we got it up to, we're going to get it up to 70, it's going to be halved by the autoclave to 35, then we need to get it back, back up to 50. So we can just use an agglomerator for that. Um, are we worried this dries mouth? Ooh, interesting. Yes, perfect. That's actually going to be deactivated once we've put it through this agglomerator. And then we've got our active anti-seizure medicine, which is going to be, it's got 72 profit. And now look at this, my, fu my finest moment. Finally, I've actually done something not embarrassing. I can reuse that. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, almost did something embarrassing. <laughs> Love a pill maker. Okay. <laughs> oh, I spoke a little too soon there, didn't I? That's close. Okay. And now we've also managed to reduce our process cost. That's going to really nicely... Um, uh, look at it like now our ionizers and agglomerators are now only costing five a go so that's actually going to increase our margins in all of our pills so that's a really nice bit of research to get okay got our research back chromatograph now is that useful do we want to look at the sachet maker oh new pill anti-seizure um, no more shaky jake I'm sure the people who suffer with seizures will appreciate my uh, laxadaisy attitude when it comes to naming their medication. I'm sure they'll see the funny side, right? I've got my testers back. Wow, I've got another catalyst. But also a lot of side effects. This isn't so good. And that's, that catalyst is a really bad one. It, well, it's attached to a really bad side effect, at least. It causes blackouts and very difficult to remove, actually. Uh, with need an auto... Sorry, an ultraviolet curer. Let's just get these guys going. Um, we're going to almost unlock everything. God, we are making some relatively good money now, but it's taken a while to get there. Um, I'm actually thinking I might fire some of these explorers. Uh, sorry, these researchers. Uh, you know, I'm going to fire one of my explorers as well because I'm not that bothered anymore. Um, and I'm going to fire one of, a couple of these researchers. Because I kind of don't feel like I need any more um, technology at the moment. I really kind of just need the money to build more production lines. Um, all right, good, 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 good. Let's have a little look. Um, so this is 100%. This is 50. This is 50. I think that's okay. Okay, what were we going? What were we going to do? Oh, that's what I was going to do. Okay, I was going to reuse this uh, wiki talks amber and try and make something with this Sue's rash medicine. Medicine. So we're currently using it to catalyze this reaction, and I'm wondering about can we catalyze another reaction or can we use the cure? So we actually don't. Wow, look at this! I got loads of stuff now. Um, that's the only reaction that cures, so I'm thinking it's really mainly about this. It was rash, was it? I think it's soothed rash. Uh, yeah, soothed rash. So let's have a little look in that tree. Is there anything we want to do with that? Uh, prevents acne, 107. It's not bad. We haven't got the sequencer yet to upgrade it to restores hair. Um... Hmm... Want some big money? Our angi angina medication, actually. That's that's looking relatively good, relatively easy to make. Uh, I want the big ones, really, though. I've got to start bringing in the big bucks. This anti seizure is nice, but to be honest, it's the demand's quite low. Um, but we anyway, we want to use this rash anyway. Okay, let's just do a, a relatively simple one. Can we get this catalyst in there? I'm actually thinking I'm just gonna just churn out some rash medication. Um, try and avoid if I get that up to 60% I avoid any of these side effects oh no I don't I hit that one so if I just get it up to 50% okay so I'm just going to keep this one really simple actually just try and make a quick buck I'm kind of keeping things quite tight over here because I want to leave some extra space and then I'll try and do what I did here where I can kind of reuse it from another angle uh, so that makes a little bit of money. That's that's quite simple. 32. It's not ideal. Um, might pay off a little bit of my loan actually. 
Um, there we go. At least that reduces the amount of um, interest I'm paying. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm wondering whether to split this into a second vlog or not. Um, you know what? Like I, I'll just carry on. If I, if, if, if I, if I ended up deciding to split into two vlogs, then uh, this will probably fade out in a moment, and uh, you know, you, I'll, I'll see you next time. But if, if it carries on, then you know I haven't split it into two. Uh, but I'll decide at the end, depending on how long it runs, basically. Um, okay. Okay, let's call this Anti Rush. It's a bit of a boring name. Okay. What, what do we want to go for? Let's just choose something and go for it. Do we want to go for this? Maybe we do actually. Just need autoclave and that. All right. Okay. Let's just forget about catalysts for a moment and just power up to this stroke one because we do have the autoclave available. Um, I wonder if we've got the space to do it. Okay. So treats angina. That's the one we're looking at. Uh, roll hi sorry, hypertension. So we. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Gonna start up here because that's where we've already got like an exit. And then we're going to use a dissolver to uh, knock it down a notch. And then we're gonna use a ionizer. No, 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 I've got this wrong. Oh, interesting. I can remove that if I got it up to 65. I might try and do that later. We're gonna use an ionizer to can we yes we can. Look at this look at this compactness. Impressed. What's this? A new ingredient. Okay, I think we've got all the ingredients now. Oh no, we just sold one of them. Okay, that's the final one. Um, oh, I haven't connected this up. Okay, so this is going to get us up to Treats Angina. What are we going to have to do after that? We're going to have to get it to 40%, run it through a auto an autoclave. Okay, so we'll run it through two agglomerators. Um. Okay, oops, it's not working. And then we can upgrade that using an autoclave. Now what I'm going to do is split this across two autoclaves to maximize our production here. How am I going to do that? Um, ooh, this might be a little bit tricky actually. I think we need it to be down here. At least one of them needs to kind of be down there. We can put one like that. And then we need to split the other one to go down there. Okay. Uh, so close. Oh, it's so tight. If I put it there, split it like this. Oops. I think, I think this will work. Oop, more stuff. Getting a few frame rate issues here. Sorry about that. Um... Oh, and this decreases the autoclave process time, but that is takes that will take a long time. So that would remove the need to have two of these, but that's going to take too long. I can't be able to wait for that. So I think we do this. Yeah, see how I'm going to do it, and then we can actually join it up again at this point. Um, actually, I feel that won't work. Oh God, yeah, really weird. Um frame rate stuff there um, that's funny that's not actually oh I haven't connected it that's why it's not going okay so this uh, I then need to get that up to oh I just got the chromatograph I can actually do that if I get it up to 65 now, I've got no space though do I so I'm just going to try and get it up to um, good enough to get to be active um, and to do that I need I just need one one agglomerator actually. God, this has worked out quite luckily. It seems I've got the perfect amount of space. Um, and then I'm going to run it through 
I think we'll just go for two pill makers because it's not a specially bad side effect we actually have there. And then we'll just run it out here. Uh, I'm probably going to have to... Um, probably going to have to leave this video there at this point. Uh, it's been a valiant effort, but these... Um, I'm getting a kind of these... I, I'm not sure it's really a frame rate issue. I, I think it's actually a problem I've, I've hit before, uh, where the, some kind of error is occurring in the background without crashing the whole system, and that's um, kind of stopping any UI input at certain points, um, just so it's, it causes these little um, little hangs. Oh, we just got to rename this. Uh, and Anti-stroke risk. Okay, so this is something that... What's it? Hmm. So a stroke is like a blood clot, isn't it, in your brain. So we'll call this anticoagulator. Actually, let's call it anticoag. I think that's a better name. Uh, any any doctors watching, please correct me uh, if I've just told everybody that, uh, in the comments below, if I've just told everybody that, um, what incorrectly told people what a stroke is. Um, Okay, and look at that. That I think that is my best one, isn't it? I mean, this is not bad. This one over here, 86. Um, but I think, yeah, that's my best at 89. I mean, I am actually raking the money in now. If I just let this run for a little bit longer, I mean, look where we are at our loan at the moment. 29,000. I've got 17k in the bank. I'm just going to pay a load of that off, get us right down. Um, 12,000 left. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> It's a valiant effort, wasn't it? I think, I mean, at the rate I'm kind of earning it now, um, 240 ago, I'd probably, I'd be able to pay that off in, in, in a few minutes. But, uh, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't quite manage it. Look at that, 10,000. Oh, maybe I will. Okay, well, I'll just chat for a little bit um, uh, for the rest of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I, I certainly did, actually. That was That's that's one of the kind of longest play sessions I've actually given the game, if, if you can believe that. Um, because normally I'm I'm kind of just going in to check things, and I kind of come back, and I, I, I keep working on the game. Um, I, I rarely kind of play up until kind of filling an entire building. Um, I mean, I'm chuffed with this. I mean, this is actually, you know, this isn't kind of designed to look pretty. It's just, I've just laid it out to be functional. And it's, it, you know, it has a certain kind of look about it. It looks quite cool. Um, but I hope you get a, a feeling for how the game progresses over time and you kind of, you notice that I was kind of, I'd get a new machine and I was like, oh, what can I do with this machine? Or I got a new catalyst, what can I do with this catalyst? In hindsight, I think I sped up the research and the uh, exploring more than I needed to because I was kind of chasing after those things and I, I didn't really have time to kind of build the stuff that I had access to before. Um, uh, something else that I think is missing is something to really direct you at kind of something that's you really, um, you know, what's going to make you lots of money. Uh, we've got the demand that help a little bit, but I think what would be nice is once we have some random events that actually influence demand. So you're getting little messages up here with the messaging system and it says, hi, um, there's been a outbreak of um, seizures because someone's released some nerve gas and we need to and the demand's gone through the roof um, or maybe something like you, you know maybe a little mission system something like that which was uh, you know please you know you've got to sell 50 50 anti-seizure medications um, and then they give you kind of a lump sum for those something like that i think would be nice just to give the player a little bit more direction but i think already there's the kind of um oh look at this just look at this this is where all the demand is Oh my god, I should have been making ADHD medication. Unfortunately, I only unlocked that ingredient right at the end. Uh, this antidepressant here. Uh, but never mind. Um, oh, can I pay off my loan? Ah, oh, I can pay off my loan! Okay, okay that's where we should stop the game. Uh, stop this video. I've paid off my loan. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. And... Uh, I, the next thing I'm going to be working on is adding the company tab, which lets you see how your products are performing. And, um, and then I'm not sure. Um, it, it depends. I've got a res coming up in early March, and I really want to be focusing on the stuff that needs to be in there for res. So I'm going to add a, a load of new machine animations. I'm going to, add, I'm going to be replacing these little dummies with um, proper animated little guys and stuff like that. Um, so feature-wise, I'm not sure what else is going to be in by the next video blog. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.